Hello guys and welcome back to episode number 28 of the My Player Career Mode. I apologise if I sound knackered, it's probably because I am. I've been recorded three videos I think today, so this is the fourth video that I'm recording. All live come as well, so my voice is absolutely gone and I have a sore throat anyway. But today we are starting off with a game against Chelsea in the Champions League. Hopefully we can do something decent at least. Um, I haven't really seen that lineup, but I imagine Marco Marin... Marin is in the lineup. They seem to always have him um, back. What, is he back at Chelsea now or is he alone? I'm not too sure. But anyway, we do go into this game here, playing back on the right again. Obviously, Keesling back into the team. A bit of a shame. You can see our fitness isn't quite there. That's because the manager decided to pick us two days after the game against. Uh, was it Dusseldorf? I think it was Dusseldorf. I only just um, finished editing that video, so I should really know that. But hopefully, we can do something today and potentially get a win because I don't think if we lose this game we may end up getting knocked out of the Champions League which would be a shame we haven't really done very well though we've only played in one of the games which was the game against Napoli probably a few episodes back now I think it was like episode 22 or something like that so we haven't actually played in many of these games so let's see what we can do today anyway I'm going to try and keep the ball as much as we can and as I said that Chalan Hoglu does lose it straight away and Chelsea are going to play very fast counter-attacking football that was actually Fulgan Hazard that we saw on the little kit screen uh, obviously Eden Hazard's younger brother whether or not he'll ever turn into the sort of player that Eden is is very much debatable but looks like this is going to be quite an interesting game which is good we have managed to win the ball there off of Eden Hazard I think he's playing on the field as well as his brother not a bad start eight minutes in we'll take a shot there that was a decent shot but it did get deflected and Petr Cech eventually saves Callan Hogglu's head up and it does go out We've got a chance here. We're not going to be able to. We're going to get the throw in. We are. We are going to get the opportunity to take the throw in as well. We'll have that back straight away and try and get a nice cross into the box. Not going to happen though because it does get deflected by Willian. We're going to have it back though. I'll have it back again. I didn't mean to give it back to him. And it's gone out for another throw in. Chelsea really are defending quite well here. And it wouldn't surprise me if they don't concede because they are such a good team defensively in FIFA. And they do end up tend to, tend to park the bus directly after a goal so if we can get the first goal it will probably prevent them from going park the bus which would be good Chelsea do have their first real attack here Falken has a crosses it in it's going to go out it's going to go out and luckily Diego Costa doesn't manage to get his head onto it has gone out for a corner though whether or not they'll be able to do anything from this corner we shall see we have gone attacking which is nice to see comes out clear that and Ramirez does put it wide and out for a goal kick Chelsea come on the attack here with William and Falken Hazard down to Felipe Luis, who apparently isn't actually being played in real life very much. He's not actually starting many games for Chelsea. And there's potential that they might be signing uh, the young Ricardo Rodriguez from Wolfsburg, which is a bit incredible, actually, in real life. It's a surprise that uh, Felipe Luis doesn't get the game time because he is one of the best left-backs in the world, in my opinion. And for some reason, Jose Mourinho, even though he signed him, doesn't feel the need that he is, which is just incredibly weird, to be honest. They are replacing Forgan Hazard with Seth Fabregas at half-time, which is something that you don't usually see especially in Champions League games, um, substitutions at half-time. Usually people wait a little bit longer, but fair enough. Hopefully, Sesk won't do us any harm in this game, which would be nice, because he is a very good player indeed. That's a nice bit of play there. Can we keep going? We can't. I can't manage to get the pass on Human Sun, which is unfortunate as well. Oh, God, is that a penalty? I think that's actually a free kick to Chelsea. Luckily, we don't give away the penalty, because that would definitely not be... A good thing and it looks like we're going to get a yellow card who actually made the foul I didn't quite get to see it was actually Omer Toprak who we have used before in the Everton career mode if you guys watched that it was a long time ago now but there's a pretty horrendous tackle on Cesc Fabregas and definitely a well worthy free kick looks like Hazard and whoever else is there is that kind of Aguero Jesus Christ they've brought Aguero I didn't even notice but that's good oh thank god that's a good save there from Leno hopefully we can hold on I wouldn't mind getting a point from this game Ideally, if we can score, hopefully seal off the game with that would be nice. And if we can just spread the play a little bit, maybe. And we've picked up an injury. You have to be kidding me. That's really annoying. Hopefully, we can wear this one off. I'm actually going to request a sub because if you guys have fought back to recent times in the My Player, we have been injured for like three or four months. And I definitely do not want that happening today. So if we can get subbed off, that would be greatly appreciated. So we will wait until the ball goes out of play and hopefully the manager will sub us off. That's a good ball into Conaguero. Is he? Well, I don't want to call him Conaguero because it is just Aguero, but into the box. Can we clear it? We are still on the field at the moment. The manager hasn't subbed us off yet, so I don't think the ball's actually left the field, so he couldn't have actually subbed us off yet. But 
I just I don't want to risk an injury. And from now on, if we do get like a little injury on the field, I want to make sure we get subbed off straight away to avoid making it any worse. Because if we miss like another half season through injury, I'll be so annoyed. And look at that from Shirley. He has missed an open goal. That is poor. And we have been taken off the field due to me requesting a sub, which is cool. Um, maybe not the best thing in the world to get subbed off straight away, but for the safety of our own player, it's just worth getting on a self subbed off. Otherwise, it just causes a lot of issues. And you see, we are in bad form right now, which isn't very good, but partially because we probably got subbed off during that game. But I had to do it for the safety of my own fitness. We haven't been picked in this game, which I'm fine with because I want to make sure that we are fit to play. And it isn't the manager's fault that we nearly got injured because. He risked us against Chelsea and we almost came away with an injury. So I'm very grateful that we didn't get the injury. But we're now moving into December. So it is coming up to the January transfer window. As I've said before, I don't feel that we need to move away from Leverkusen. And obviously this week, you'll probably be watching this on Sunday. So next week, wait, no, Saturday you'll probably be watching this. So next week we may end up getting offers in. And if we do get any good offers in, then I may indeed take one. But it looks like we're not going to be selected for a few games, which is fair enough. We've had a bad run of form and I'm not too bothered if we get our fitness back but Dermich has been injured which gives us a chance to probably play this game against SC Braga I believe is the name of the club we are playing then two days later we got Wolfsburg so either one of them games will probably be selected for please select us for this I know we've had a few bad games but you know it can't really be helped everyone goes through it we've had a great season anyway and we have not been selected in this game either so have we been injured is that the issue here or we just I don't know what's going on this is like the fourth game in a row we haven't been selected for, which is a little bit frustrating. So let's hope we get picked in the game against Wolfsburg. I mean, come on, manager. You've left us out for like four games now. I know we got subbed off and we nearly got injured, but Jesus. 2-1. So surely we're selected in the game against Wolfsburg. Otherwise, I'm a bit worried about what we've done wrong. Um, so you have not been selected again. So we've literally been left out of the team now for nearly a month this is crazy I mean this is nearly worse than having an injury because we're not even getting picked so surely the next game we're coming back I mean come on we've got to be playing that game there against Dusseldorf you have to be kidding me if we're not that is really frustrating guys I didn't expect to be left out this long because I requested a sub you know I didn't realise requesting subs was such a dangerous thing to do in this I just felt that if you, you know were injured or whatever you needed to come off the field if you request a sub you get requested so we haven't been selected in this game either, guys. So I'll get back to you when we actually get selected again, which is a little bit of a worry. Right, guys. So after five games out, we have been selected against Schalke. I believe it is in the Deutsche Gelb Pokal. And once we do get into that game, guys, I will be back. Right, guys. Just before we do get into the game against Schalke, we are just going to, as you can see, we've changed our boots. Just thought I'd show you. We've now got, it's the F50 Messies that came out in the catalogue, I think, today. White, black and red. They look pretty cool. Just thought I'd change them for just something different, really. But I thought I'd show you guys that. And now we are going to go and jump into the game against Schalke. And we are playing as a striker. I am really hoping, guys, that we can get a good result here. Because, obviously, we did get dropped um, for five games, which is quite bad. So, hopefully, our form can continue. It's a little bit annoying. I mean, because we're not the highest overall player in the team, we do get dropped a fair bit, which is a little bit annoying. But... You know, we have had a decent season here at Leverkusen, scoring 10 goals in 13 appearances and one assist. So it hasn't exactly been the worst season. I just feel the manager, you know, does get annoyed with us at times and decides to leave us out for a prolonged period of time. But hopefully we can get back into the team now, into Huntelaar here. Can Chaco get a goal? Oh, that was close. Can we get on the counter-attack here? I'm going to come back into him again. He gets a crossing. That's a good cross. Huntelaar, that's... Oh, I was going to say Nudstader there. That should have been 1-0 there. Good header from him. Julian Draxler here. A target for us in the Arsenal career mode. Den Sayogo back into Farfan. Come on. What are they going to do? Just try and get the ball, guys. We are getting absolutely dominated by Schalke here. We've had, literally had none of the ball. And if we continue like this, we are going to go 1-0 down sooner rather than later. And we almost again go 1-0 down there. Come on, team. We need to do a lot better than we are right now. That is for sure. Schalke with another good chance here. Drew Julian Drax on the edge of the box. Can he get it in? Into Kevin Brins Boateng. And that is a very nice finish there from the Ghana, Ghanaian. Is that how, what you'd say? Ghanaian man. And a, a very nice strike. A lovely bit of play from Schalke. And to be honest, the goal was coming. They have played so well. And Kevin Prince Boateng, you can see, luckily getting there. He kind of went at it in a bit of an awkward angle. Did fall over, but did eventually get it into the back of the net. And that is a very nice goal. And that is Schalke 1 by a Leverkusen nil. 
That's a lovely burp. It's been to a shot. And, oh, it gets saved by Farmer and the keeper. That is our best chance of the game for the team as well. If it would show a replay that, we did a lovely little burp. And we managed to get the shot away. Unfortunately, we put it right at the keeper. But that is a positive start here. Getting an early chance. Whether or not we'll, the corner will come into us from whoever that was. I think it was Cal Challen Hoglu again. But Schalke do have the chance here to get on the counter-attack. Hopefully... They don't make it 2-0 because I feel that we do have an opportunity to get a goal if we play well enough. That's a good back pass there from Huntelaar into Farfan. Farfan in to Kevin Prince-Bertang. He puts it out to Huntelaar. Out to Marco Hogo. Trying to create a bit of space, but they are we are closing them down pretty well. It does go out to Dennis Iogo again. Back into Hoga. In to Julian Draxler, who's going to cause us a lot of problems if we allow him to. He already has caused us a lot of problems with the assist, obviously. Into the second half here at Schalke, we do go at the, I want to say I know the name of this arena, and I do know the name of the Schalke, the Veltons Arena, that's the one, and uh, hopefully we can get ourselves a goal, unfortunately we haven't managed to get ourselves a goal so far, which is a little bit of a disappointment, but hopefully that will change, Nudstada here, back out to Ushida, back into Nudstada, are they going to get themselves a second goal, that's a good shot from Kevin prince Bertain going for a second, and unfortunately for him, he does miss and keeps the score at 1-0. Well, an opportunity here, guys, to get the ball into the box. We'll try and round our man. We tried the advanced rainbow, which I didn't mean to do. We've lost the ball. We've got it back here. We'll turn our man like that. We're trying to find some space to get the pass away. We'll try and feed it up into Kramer. Into Bender. And he does, unfortunately, do kind of the same thing that we did. Just put it straight at a goalkeeper. Unfortunately, it does go up for a corner. But this may create an opportunity for us to get a goal. It would be nice if we could get a goal from a corner. We don't think we've done that yet. We don't get our head on it, unfortunately, and it does come out to Schalke. Can we get the ball back? We've got the ball back there, and it's come back to Schalke again. They are playing so well. No wonder they are a tough team in real life, as well as on FIFA, to try and beat. And it's because they are top, top quality indeed. And unfortunately, we can't do them with the stepovers there. And it looks like, guys, we're going to struggle to get a goal this game. They have been playing absolutely outstanding. Kevin prince Bertang here on the edge of the area. Is he going to get across him? He's not. And hopefully this can spark something from us they are playing very defensively though which is going to be a real bugger we are running right through we're not going to, be able to run right through we've been taken down and that is not going to be a free kick referee got a chance here to try and get the cross into the box what the f we just can't create anything this game guys it's so annoying because all i want us to better do is just get a goal for the team or set up a goal for the team or even just the team about a score even if it doesn't involve me i just god damn games annoy me today it really is and look at that what is the fucking player doing there god's sake team we need to improve no wonder we drop so many points when i play because i try and create something for the team as you can see there i passed to the guy but he just completely left it and i was like what are you doing we'll try and create something here i mean i'm going to probably just try and take the shot myself because it will probably have better success and unfortunately we don't that hadn't been yeah if that hadn't have been deflected that might have actually gone in but as i said it's, it's getting frustrating now because as I said, I'm trying to create something for the team, and they're just not doing anything to try and score. The The effort is just not good enough. That is the end of the game, guys. We do lose 1-0, and what a poor, poor game. 50th game completed. I mean, unfortunately, just a very poor performance again. Not having any of the ball. As you can see, 37% possession really is not that good. We do get the bicycle kick trait now, which is nice. Um, whether or not that will put our overall up to a 78, I'm not too sure. But we shall see what game we're picked in next, which will be into the January chance window now. But yeah, it's been um, a bit difficult, I guess you could say. Hopefully we don't get any offers, because I don't really have any ideas of moving anywhere. You know, I'm not going to request a transfer. We're just going to stay at Leverkusen and see what does happen. But we're into 2017 now, into the new year. Hopefully we get picked for the game against uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach there. And it looks like... We are going to get picked, so we're still in decent form. I mean, we're in okay form right now. We're not really picking up assists or anything. But I will show you guys the squad report. And we are doing quite well, I guess. Um, you can see there we have gone up three overalls already. There's interest shown by Zenit and Stoke City. Again, two teams I do not want to go to. So we definitely won't be moving this year unless we get forced out of it. Maybe in the summer we'll look for offers. But right now I'm completely happy at Bayer Leverkusen. That is a team that I want to stay with for right now. You can see here, we do still have some pretty good traits. I mean, four-star skills is still on there. I will quickly show you guys, and we'll go and customize our pro and give ourselves a bicycle kicks trait. I don't know why we would want it, but 
if we ever get the chance to use it, I mean, what don't we need? In all honesty, I want the bicycle kick. So what does it take away? That's the thing. So I think it takes away one, doesn't it? Or second wind. Increases energy at the end of the match. See, that's kind of good, isn't it? I mean, that's something that we could actually do with, I guess. So bicycle kick, skill dribbling, swerve pass. Again, I don't think we need the early crosser, which we don't have anymore. I think the swerve pass... Um, Cold shots without sort of the boot. So I want that, but it takes away the finesse shot, which uh, it's like. What do I need more? That's the thing. Um, we'll just keep it like that for now. I think um, we might put the finesse shot back on if we need it. It's kind of annoying. You can't have more than I think five uh, little. What is it called? We are apparently captain, which is different. I don't think we are captain. Um, we wish we have a look for captain. Where are we in the squad rating actually? Or squad ranking even. So we are slowly getting up there. I mean, we're still not the best player at the club. By a long stretch overall wise as well. You can see there. We are 77. So hopefully we can get to kind of 78 or 79 by the end of the season. That would be the, the aim anyway. But if you guys have enjoyed this video. If we could smash 5 likes as always. That would be absolutely fantastic. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. And I'll speak to you guys in the next episode.